because it's something that's hot and you want to be involved in it. And God damn it, thank Caitlin Clark because she brought the national attention. You wouldn't have seen that Angel Reese incident with her on no other platform had it not been towards Caitlin Clark because she's the golden child. You're talking about she's a princess. She ain't no goddamn princess. She's the one. She's the chosen one for the WNBA. She is the one. Get used to it. <clears throat> you ready? All right. Look, dog, I'm extra unique. All right, we're coming straight from the top of the dome. Straight from the top of the dome with this one. I had no prep time, no nothing. I did not realize I was going to do this, but it needs to be done. Got a strike while the iron is hot in that girl. Kaylin went off. what I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all yesterday in that damn video that I put out? I told y'all it was going to take a performance like this to turn everything around for her and her team. And getting that rest is everything that they need because she went out there and she dropped 30. I told y'all what was going to happen. I'm not a guru of the X and O's and shit like that when it comes to basketball. You want shit like that? Go to J.J. Reddick. Go to one of these damn analysts like Stephen A. When you come over here and get this shit, you're going to get the behavior of why I know why these bitches are going to go out there and perform. And I knew it. I can see it in Caitlyn's face and her demeanor. She wasn't giving up. She wasn't quitting. When all that shit that was happening to her, she took it on the chin. She didn't complain about none of it. She has not been complaining. She has addressed it, but she ain't been complaining about it. She's just going to let her gang speak for it. And damn it, she did. A near triple-double. I was, I was, boy, I'm praying for it. Please get the triple-double, Caitlyn. But she she knocked down so many threes in this goddamn game. Some contested threes. She stepped back. Oh, man, she, she did a fucking thing. She did a thing. Everybody can say whatever you need to say about this damn girl talking about she saying how sucky she is, how much she's sorry. There's a reason why they was double teaming her. It was a reason why they was picking up full court defense. That's why. If any of y'all watch that game, that's why. And say what you want to say about the Mystic being the sorriest team in the, in the WNBA. But they have come close in damn near every game they played this season. They've come that damn close. It's just, I guess this is what the level of competition is on for them in the WNBA on that level. But Kalen stepped up. She shined. She shined. Two, two rebounds away from a triple-double. Two rebounds away from um, uh, double-digit rebounds. She was four sister, four sister away. But she, had, she had six assists. But she had four steals. She has, her defense has gotten so much better. And I don't understand why the hell coach sides for everybody who saw that game. Why in the hell did you take Kaylin out the game for defensive purposes in the fourth quarter? And you left Christy Wallace in the game. Christy Wallace, right, was a negative six her time in the game. She was negative six. Kaylin, plus five. In fact, check, check out these, these fucking numbers. This is going to wow y'all. Kaylin was the only one in her starting lineup that was a plus on the court. And you taking her out for, deep, for her being defensive liability, but you leave Christy Wallace in the game. What about Wheeler? Wheeler should have been in the damn game. She was a plus 10. Now she suck on offense, but she has good defense. She could be like that Pat Beverly type that we talk about. Or she could be like that goddamn Kennedy Carter. I don't got no problem with Kennedy Carter. It's just that don't go out there and do shit like that. Don't attack somebody. Or being in everybody's face talking shit, intensity. Go ahead, do it. You need your junkyard dog. But don't put your hands on nobody unless it's necessary. That wasn't necessary purpose to be putting, your, putting your, your hands on her. But you need you somebody like that. In fact, this is what I think that the Fever should do. I think the Fever should go out and try to sign Liz Cambridge. I think they should go try to get her and bring her back into the WNBA. Because now it's going to be money there. You're going to see a lot of people that's going to start unretiring and coming back to the WNBA. Because I'm not, I told you, I'm not going to play for pennies. I'm not going to play for pennies. But if you come in that shit, if... Anybody who gets a $300,000 contract, I'm talking about yearly, not broken up into five years. Somebody get a $300,000 contract. Do you know how much money that is? Do you understand why you see these NBA players driving in these fancy ass Lamborghinis and shit like that and living in these mega mansions? You're not seeing no WNBA player living like that. That clothes that they come strutting up in there and they didn't went to the store and bought that they they spent their own money for that they ain't got nobody sponsoring them like that but they about to uh, watch how many sponsors jump on the backs of the WNBA right now it's hot 20,000 viewers at that damn game 
20,000 people came to see Kalen Clark play. They sold out the arena for a Mystics game. Who's the worst in the W? Listen, the Mystics are the worst team in the WNBA. Before that win, um, the Fever were like 2-10. and 10. The two sorriest teams in the WNBA sold out. I bet you $500,000 you wouldn't have a sold out game between the Washington Wizards and the, uh, who was the fucking, uh, the Pistons. I bet you you wouldn't have a sold out game between the Washington Wizards and the Detroit Pistons. I bet you you wouldn't. But you had a sold out game between the two sorriest teams in the WNBA because of Kalen Clark. I, that's, that's all I got to say. That's all y'all need to understand. Because of Kaylin Clark, she's the reason for all of this shit that you're starting to see right now. And rejoice. Rejoice. Because the time has come. This is y'all shining the moment, WNBA. This, listen, this is what y'all don't realize. We are still inside of the Me Too movement. We're still going with the Me Too movement. This is the age of Aquarius. You're wondering why so many female bosses are stepping up? Because it's their time. Any woman who realized this in this moment, oh my God, you're going to elevate to so many levels higher than what you've ever been, what anybody ever thought you could be. That's why the WNBA is getting so much, so much um, uh, attention. That's why. Because it's time. It's been long enough. It's been well overdue. And for the ladies who came before the pioneers, I pray that y'all give them their respect because they went through a lot of shit to watch what is happened to the WNBA right now. Ooh, they mad. I know they mad as hell that they've been fighting, fighting, fighting to get this shit noticed. And now look at it. Now look at it. But God damn it, appreciate it. If anything, this is what y'all should do. This would be fucking beautiful. If y'all would come back and help mentor these girls, if y'all would come back and help coach them, stop trying to go over there and be NBA uh, coaches. How about you big up your league? That's the problem that I have with things like, like superhero and stuff like that. Stop trying to create a new superhero and big up the ones that you already have. What are you doing? Captain America wasn't a woman. Not trying to make it a woman. Stop trying to turn the male characters into women. Take the women characters that you already have and make them better. Take what you got in the WNBA and make it better. Bring in new talent or create an entirely new superhero. Stop trying to copy and paste. Caitlyn is not a copy and paste. That's why this shit is working. That's why it's working. You don't. You didn't see nobody with step back threes and logo threes. Yeah, you may see something like that before now, and somebody can get on that. Well, what about this person? What about that person? What about them? Because they right now are irrelevant. What will happen with them is, is they will come back when it's time to talk about all of the Hall of Famers. That's what happens. If you was great, you become a Hall of Famer, you're going to always be spoken about. Always. So any of these motherfuckers out there who's complaining right now and bitching and all that other shit, unless you was really, really good, shut your ass up. Because it don't matter what you say. I get it. I understand why you can be under, under so much heat and have so much animosity and jealousy towards this shit. Because you have been working so hard to make it that. But listen, as hard as you worked, you, you are the pioneers of this shit. You broke down the doors and the barriers to let these other girls come in here and make this happen. Angel Reese is right, guys. There are people at these games coming to watch her play. There really is. She's not lying. There were no celebrities coming to these fucking basketball games like they are right now. But they are now and they're coming to watch people like Angel Reese play. It's not a fucking lie. It's a fact. And you blind if you don't see it. But you extra goddamn blind if you don't see that Kaylin is the reason why all the other motherfuckers are out there watching this shit. Somebody like me. Because I don't care about celebrities. I see celebrities anywhere. I could turn the TV on and there goes celebrity. <laughs> I don't care about seeing them. I don't care if Quavo come to the damn basketball game. I don't care? You wasn't there before. I didn't come to the WNBA basketball game to watch celebrities. I came to watch the girls play. So when people talk about all these celebrities in the building, I don't give a damn. That don't mean anything. 
Because the celebrities that show up at NBA basketball games too. How about this? How about these celebrities become regulars? Because the ones that come to the NBA, they come there because they want to be there. They're actual fans. These ones that y'all see coming to the game right now, they just over there because it's hot. It's over there because it's hot. Ain't none of them been watching any of these damn games. Atlanta got a whole female basketball team. But whenever you hear an Atlanta rapper talk about where they're from and their teams, they don't say shit about them. They talk about the fucking Atlanta Braves. They talk about the Atlanta Falcons. They don't, they don't say shit about they WMA team, the Atlanta Dream. So don't give me that. Y'all don't care. Y'all didn't care. Y'all care right now because it's something that's hot. And you want to be involved in it. And God damn it, thank Caitlin Clark. Because she brought the national attention. You wouldn't have seen that Angel Reese incident with her on no other platform had it not been towards Caitlin Clark. Because she's the golden child. You're talking about she's a princess. She ain't no goddamn princess. She's the one. She's the chosen one for the WNBA. She is the one. Get used to it. Get used to it until the next one comes along. You got a long list of them, apparently, from what I've been hearing that's playing in high school right now. They said he got girls in high school dunking. Okay, that's going to be the evolution of this shit. And the, and the girls right now who are in the college ranks. Look, y'all don't realize this, but... Caitlin Clark, when she was a freshman, scored 799 points on her way to breaking the NCAA record for scoring for men and women. But check this out. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Juju has scored 810 points. Juju scored 810. And from what I've been told, you got to stay in school all four years before you come out and join the WNBA. So what does that mean? Juju is already on pace to break Caitlyn's records. This is how you make this a thing. Juju, stay, your, st stay in college. Get your NIL money. Get your NIL, NIL money. Because the WNBA go, ain't going to be able to pay you as much as the NIL going to be able to pay you right now. Because there's way more people invested in it. So you got to get your bearings up. Get them up. So when it's time for you to graduate and move on to the WNBA, you're going to take all them people from that was in the college ranks at USC, giving you all that NIL money, and now they're going to give you WNBA money. You see how this works? It had to start somewhere. And those women who paved the way, y'all were the martyrs. Y'all were. Now, these ones who are there right now, y'all got to give them grace. Learn how to give these ladies grace because they pissed. They pissed that it wasn't them. All of y'all need to learn right now because it could be so much better if y'all came together and worked as one to make this all work. You motherfuckers, as much as y'all hate Caitlyn and wishing it was y'all, y'all need to be on that bitch and be like, you know what? I can't even front. Caitlyn got a lot of people in the goddamn building. They came to see that bitch play, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it tonight. I'm going to give y'all a reason to watch me play. Watch this shit. We're going to have a battle tonight. I can't wait. That's how y'all should be responding to these questions. Not with all that, man, whatever. It's other players in the, in the WNBA. It ain't just one player that's making all this up. Fuck it. When you start talking like that, you sound like a hater. You sound like a hater. We know. We know, Angel, we know. And like I said, she probably ended up being one of my, <laughs> she probably be some kid folk to me because my last name is Reese. I never know. I'm over here be talking shit about her. <laughs> but it's all love because I'm talking about, I'm talking shit about her in a way that brings the focus and the light on you and the attention. And the attention that I have and it needs to be on display for Angel is that you need to get in there and work on your game more than trying to be an influencer. That shit is a distraction. Kobe knew that. If Kobe was still here, he could be a mentor to all these young women. I wish I could be a mentor to the women in the WNBA. Y'all work to make this happen. Everybody out there who's new to this channel, please hit that goddamn subscribe button. Hit that like button for this video. Hit that notification so you know your boy dropped new videos. And let's start a petition to get me, Chocolati, to be the advisor for the WNBA. Me, Chocolati. Get me over there and help me adjust their mindsets. I'm working on, on getting my, my higher level degree right now, PhD in behavioral psychology. So that's the reason why I come in and I talk about why these women act the way that they do instead of some damn stats. I ain't no damn statistician. I'm the guru of behavior. If you ask any of my partners, they come to me when they ask who you think going to win this game tonight. And I give them the reasons why. I give them the reasons why. For all of y'all out there, and I'm, even I feel bad for picking Dallas to win, but none of us realize that they had a person like Porzingis. Porzingis changes the whole flow, changes the whole game plan because t the way teams match up, everybody was like, oh, it seems like Dallas would be the better bet to go against the Celtics if they was able to beat Minnesota. 
No, 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 no. That was the Celtics on paper before y'all see Porzingis play. Now they got a seven-foot person out there that nobody on the Dallas Mavericks was ready to play against. They didn't have no scout report for him because he didn't play not one game in the playoffs. Not one. This is his first game in the playoffs, and he shined. Shined. That boy been waiting since he been drafted by the New York Knicks to get out there and, and show the world what he could do. But his ass always been injured. Now he's ready. You cannot bet against that. You can't bet against that when you got motherfuckers like Tatum out there who can knock down the three. Jalen Brown who can knock down the three. Al Horford can knock down the three. Motherfucking, uh, what's his, what's the, um, oh, I, I feel bad that I ain't gonna know his name. But old buddy that was on the Bucks, the won a championship with the Bucks, he could knock down the three. Him and his, he, he got brothers in the league. Oh, I feel bad. I can't remember his name. Y'all don't be mad at me. Oh, oh, well. And who is it? James White? He knocking down threes. There was a mother, another motherfucker out there who looked like he worked at Home Depot. He was knocking down threes. You cannot be the team that has as great defense as the Celtics have, and they coming out there with better fucking offense. You can't be the team shooting no fucking 60% from three. You will not beat them. Threes outweigh twos, and they fucking neutralize Luka. Jalen Brown said, I'm going to do this. Look, Mace said this from It Is What It Is. I'm trying to holler at Mace and him too. Mace was like, that's fucking Batman. Look, that is fucking Batman. He looked like Batman. If he just stood there and you put the fucking hat shit over his face, he looked like Batman. And his ass went out there and delivered. He's the one. But nobody was accounting for Porzingis, so it's over. I mean, it ain't over, over, but it's going to be real hard. Dallas... If Dallas come out and play the way that they played two days ago, they in trouble. They are in fucking trouble. Seriously. Because I don't see no answer. If Jalen Brown can lock up Luka like that, and the crowd is already in, in um, what's his name, in uh, Kyrie's head, he hate Boston. He hate it out there. The motherfucker tried to sage the arena. <laughs> that I heard these things when watching these other shows that he saged the arena before he started playing. He stumped all on the logo. He's cursed. That motherfucker's cursed. Look, Boston's gonna win another championship. This is the era of basketball that everybody should love to be in right now. One where there's so much parity. You don't know who could be the, the winner. We got tired of seeing LeBron James in that bitch every single year. I got tired of that shit. I don't want to keep seeing that shit over and over again like that. Because of the way he was doing it too. I, didn't, I, I couldn't stand that shit. We need some new blood. And we got it. But we still got people around like Curry and all of them. But none of them motherfuckers have made it. Curry and them team ain't even make it. It's time, guys. Motherfuckers need to stop trying to hold on to the past. And let the future come. Let it come. We are living in the moment right now. And this moment creates our future. Kayla Clark is the moment. Ride that moment. Good goddamn job, Caitlin Clark. Oh, and Mitchell, everybody stepped up. Everybody stepped up in this game, but I hate Coach Sides for taking that bitch out the game when I know her defense is needed. Petition. Get Coach Sides' ass up out of there. We see how much better they play with rest, too. They did a great job, guys. Bravo. Bravo. And, and I did a live stream of the game last night, so y'all can go check that out. I don't got no, have any sound or anything for the game. It's just me talking. <laughs> so it looked kind of weird. But I think... I'm thankful for the people who stopped in because they were watching the game on their end and we were just talking about it and watching it together. So it was a great experience and I will be doing again soon once I figure out what next game I want to do. I actually wanted to do the game today, the Liberty versus the Connecticut Sun because that's going to be a fucking great game. They're the two best teams in the WNBA. It's coming on at 12 o'clock on ABC. Y'all guys go check it out. I will. While I'm doing my homework, I wish I could stream it, but I got work to do. I got to stay on top of that too. I just can't be doing everything for this. But Everybody out there in the world, thank y'all. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all for tuning in, man. I appreciate y'all. 18 minutes, y'all made it through this video. Y'all know what y'all got to do. Hit that goddamn like button for your boy, man. Y'all new to the channel, like I asked, please hit that subscribe button. And then y'all hit that like button. And you hit that notification button so you know when your boy drop videos. When I come back, we're going to talk about that damn Donald Sterling documentary that's going on on uh, Hulu. <laughs> It's funny, man. It's funny. Uh, uh, I can't wait to give y'all my take on it, man. But until then... Peace. One more.